Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. <music> So today guys, I have a few fall DIYs for you. So my first DIY here, I picked up these three foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them up. Uh, first I'm going to remove the tags here and I'm going to paint these uh, this fusion color called Homestead Blue. So I'm going to paint one in this color and the other two I'm going to paint a lighter color. Uh, by American Paint Company called Rushmore. It's kind of like a beige color. And if you've watched some of my fall videos lately, you know I've been using this um, Homestead Blue a lot. And uh, so I wanted it to match with some of my other fall decor. And uh, I think this is a really nice color for fall. So I'm going to paint these three up and then I'm going to make a uh, topiary. Uh, pumpkin topiary for you. There's the Rushmore color and it's kind of like a um, beigey color with like it kind of has like a I think like a khaki green hue to it. And I really like this color. I think it's a really nice color for fall. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. My YouTube analytics show me that 60% of my viewers have not subscribed. That's a lot, guys, and it's, a, it's free. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. So just click that subscribe button. Help me out here, and we can become crafting buddies. If you don't have time to watch them every week, that's okay. Just But you can subscribe and watch when you like. So here they are all dried up guys. And what do you think of these two colors? That Homestead Blue is beautiful, isn't it? So now I'm gonna start uh, building up my topiary and I'm using this pot uh, that I did a DIY on last year and I'm um, just turning it around. I have some words on it, so I'm just turning it around. I'm gonna put some floral foam in here and um, I'm gonna build up my topiary. And um, I have some skewer sticks and some dowels there on the side, as you see. Now, I would have liked to have some that were a little longer, but this is what I had on hand, so this is what I use. So I think I went with the skewer. And I started out with the um, pumpkin uh, that was painted in the Rushmore. And then I'm going to put that Homestead Blue pumpkin in the middle. And I'm gonna put some leaves in between now guys you can kind of stagger these two instead of putting them uh, straight on top of each other you can kind of stagger them too if you like I've seen that look as well it looks really nice and I've left them just these simple colors you could you know put some transfers on these some decoupage some stenciling if you want it to be more embellished but I just put the leaves in between and just left them these simple colors because I wanted them to match my other fall uh, home decor. And uh, the top one I just left the stem on and I'm going to paint that in a gold. Uh, but you will see me change that up later because the leaves were kind of like a rusty color. I do change that up. Uh, with a copper color. I had some um, Rust-Oleum shiny copper spray paint on hand and I just uh, Put that on instead because it matched the leaves and you'll see that coming up here and I do take out the pumpkins and uh, put some um, Moss in the pot as well to kind of cover up the belt that's on the on the pot and just to make it more fall like um, and I got this moss at the Dollar Tree as well so this moss is gonna make it look more 
fall like so you can leave leave this out if you don't want to use this and guys this is really messy so um it's gonna get all over your workspace <laughs> but yeah i think it makes it look more fall like and you can let me know what you think uh once i have this in and you see me have the copper um top there instead of the gold and let me know in the comments what you think of this one do you think it's a little too plain looking or would you have embellished it more let me know in the comments guys For my second DIY here, guys, it's very simple, but turns out really beautiful. I picked up this Hi There Pumpkin mat from the Dollar Tree. It's very thin, so I thought I am going to frame this up and make it a beautiful fall sign. Now, guys, I'm using some scrap wood here, but you can also put this in a glass frame if you have one big enough, or you could uh, glue it to a, you know, some wood if you want it to be more sturdy. But uh, I just had some scrap wood laying around here, and I thought I'm just going to frame it, and then that's it. So I'm just cutting um, these pieces of wood here well i'm gonna try to cut it with this uh what is this tool called again i'm drawing a blank so if anyone knows just let me know in the comments um so i'm gonna try and cut it with this it was quite hard it didn't really work so you're gonna see me bring out my uh hand saw now i do have some tools that i could have cut it but i just you know they're just thin pieces of wood so Instead of breaking out my tools, I just got my saw. It was going to be a quick process. Um, as you can see, they're very thin. And I do attempt the shears. I think that's what they're called, wood cutting shears. Uh, I do attempt that again. And I just, you know, <laughs> squeeze it really hard, switch it around, do it again. And it does end up working. And you'll see right here. But if you don't have these guys, you can, if you have a, some kind of, you know, power tool saw you can use or just a hand saw you can use. So after I have them all cut and measured up, I'm going to sand these down and I'm just going to stain these guys, but I'm going to sand them down before I do uh, stain them. And uh, guys, make sure you clean up your workspace after you sand it because you don't want that dust getting in your on your um, stained wood pieces. And I'm using a color here called Espresso. And I'm just giving that a stir. Uh, it's been a while since I used it. So I'm just giving that a stir. And guys... <laughs> I usually put gloves on when I stain wood and I forgot and oh my god what a mess I made on my hands it was a job and a half to get that stain off my hands so guys if you're using stain put uh, gloves on don't do what I'm doing here <laughs> yeah like I said I, it took me quite a few washes I had to use like nail polish remover <laughs> I think I had some acetone in my house. I had to use that on my hands, guys, to get that uh, off my stain off my hands. So put gloves on. So here, uh, all of my wood pieces are dried. So, 
and I'm kind of measuring them out on my uh, mat here and I'm going to be using a staple gun and uh, it's pretty simple I'm just going to staple that down all the way around and I'm using my safety glasses here so anytime you're using a tool like that any any kind of tool guys show respect for it and for yourself by you know using safety precautions so I'm gonna go all the way around my mat with these pieces and use my staple gun on it and once I'm finished guys I'm just gonna show you how I um, lock up this staple gun uh, again just for safety precautions so you know if you have small kids around um, so they don't get at it and injure themselves so I'm just I'm just going to show you how I lock that back up as well so I'm continuing my stapling here and um, you'll see once it's done guys this is <laughs> such a beautiful simple piece so there's the 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 piece that locks up the staple so you're going to press down on the stapler and put that back in uh, place so no one gets injured so I'm just using a sawtooth nail hanger here that I'm just gonna hammer in and make sure the teeth are going downwards guys so when you hang it on the nail it's hanging on the sawtooth portion and I'm just uh, trimming off some excess mat here and this beautiful simple piece is done guys that I put in my entryway let me know what you think of this piece next DIY here I'm gonna be making a pumpkin for you with some decoupage words on it so I picked up these pieces from the Dollar Tree a wire pumpkin and uh, some thankful bless wood sign here and I'm gonna give that a uh, coat of white uh, spray paint now I would have liked to have some chalk spray paint but I didn't have um, any on hand so I painted that up and now I'm gonna put this beautiful orange and blue plaid napkin on it and lately guys I've been using this uh, dental pick which I use for my vinyl to get the plies off my napkins because I have trouble with this sometimes and this works absolutely great so I'm checking my napkins here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree to see how many plies are on them guys and these are only two ply a lot of the dollar store ones are only two ply so you want to make sure you get every ply off because sometimes they're three ply and I have mistakenly not taken all plies off sometimes thinking that it was only two ply because it seemed very thin then it will bubble up on you. So I put my Mod Podge on the wood painted wood here. Uh, when you paint it guys it's going to make your pattern show brighter uh, uh, than you know if you would have just put it on the plain wood. So I'm smoothing that out here with, um, I have an old plastic shower cap, it's very thin so it works really well but you can also use a, you know, a little plastic bag or some saran wrap. Now guys, I'm putting my Mod Podge on top here. Usually I don't do this until the, um, the bottom portion has dried but because it was just, you know, the straight, um, napkin, I put the, uh, top coat on but now if I have my time back I may have waited to do this afterwards because I'm going to show you the burning technique to get all that excess napkin off now I'm cutting most of the napkin off uh, but afterwards you're going to see how I get the rest off by using a burning technique so now I'm going to work on my wire pumpkin here and um I'm gonna cut it into strips now guys I was gonna put some um, material behind that uh, pumpkin like drop cloth material but just wasn't sturdy enough so I went with these green and orange um, burlap strips that I had on hand uh, from last year so I just cut those in strips and I'm going to wrap the wire 
um, pumpkin in these green strips and then I'm going to put some of the orange burlap on the top portion of the pumpkin on the stem and wrap that in twine and um, then I'm going to burn my thankful bless napkin words there and I'm going to put that on top. So here I'm just kind of twisting it around the wire and I'm going to do that for the whole pumpkin and I'm going to hot glue it in place on um, both ends. I didn't hot glue it like in between. I just, you know, as you can see here, I'm just twirling it around each wire piece. And this piece turns out to be kind of like a, you know, a shabby kind of um, piece, but I think it turned out beautiful in the end. And you can let me know in the comments what you think of this one once you see the final reveal here. So as you can see, I'm just just glue, hot gluing it on the the end there on both sides and I'm going to do this all the way around the pumpkin so and um, this is the top portion I'm just twirling it around just the same way I did on each of those pieces going across and there's I'm just doing the same thing with the orange and then just going to bring it up I just wanted to, this to look like a solid piece so I'm going to hot glue that down and then you're going to see how I work on the napkin burning <laughs> and it's awesome process guys. It works really well, but I, you know, did burn my napkin a little bit and you'll see that coming up here. So here I'm just trimming off that uh, excess uh, napkin, getting as much off as I can. Now I'm using a lighter. Now guys, please practice safety. I'm doing this in my kitchen sink where there's water. Don't do it on your desk. Don't do it anywhere where you're going to, you know, if there's a chance you could burn something. So very much practice safety precaution when you're doing this, guys. Uh, so I'm just going to go all the way around. And this took me a while. As you can see on the end there, it did kind of blacken up. But I guess it gives it that fall kind of <laughs> look. So... Here I'm just taking a nail file guys and going around uh, all of those sides and in between and getting off the little bits of napkins that were left and then I'm going to wipe it down to try and get some of that burnt off and it got most of it off but it makes it look more rustic. Now I'm going to take some uh, white twine and tie that around. Um, I was going to hot glue it but it wouldn't have stayed properly I don't think with this you know rounded edge so I just tied some white twine and wrapped that beige and white twine around the top and this piece is done let me know in the comments guys what you think of this DIY and what you think of the other two two DIYs I hope this gave you some inspiration for your fall DIYs I would really appreciate a comment and if you could click that uh, notification bell and that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Have an awesome day guys. Bye!